Good evening. Welcome to the face of Friday night. Peter Kibazo, your host. Uh, a full table here. Uh, it is the day on which the police in Uganda are celebrating 107 years, actually. They say 100 plus years, but it is actually 107 years of their existence. It is a day, it's only yesterday, I think, that uh, the new prime minister was sworn in. We've had a field day of uh, day. Well, I don't know how the Mzungus would say this because the field day is a singular one. But uh, we've had a uh, memorable time doing the news around this event, uh, in, out, and uh, what surrounds the in and out. Of course, also, there's been a lot of the loud silence from the side that was evicted from office. Uh, he had rather very loud silence from his desk. But uh, yes, today, with me on the panel, Charles Romshana from my extreme left. Welcome, Charles. The almighty God is great. Right, alongside Charles, uh, I have uh, Richard Baguma. Welcome, Richard. Thank you very much. It's nice to be back. Yes, Richard was here earlier today uh, doing a live show with the youth uh, from the universities. And uh, all the way from Karamoja, uh, yes, and yes, he has been in Karamoja lately. The last time we talked, he, ha he was within the precincts of Karamoja. He said he was. Well, he told me so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to believe him, <laughs> if he's believable. Uh, <laughs> welcome, David. Why not? Thank you very much. Um, it's always glad to be back here. But of course, I missed uh, the Friday shows. Mm. I was in Karamoja, in Turkana, Lodwar, and so forth. So looking at catching up with the issues about the Ateker uh, uh, networks yeah, from Ethiopia, South Sudan, and uh, Kenya and Uganda. And the Karamojongu say, Ngai. Ngao. 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 Yes, ngao. Ngao. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're speaking Gujarati now. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Gujarati. Say, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Viewers, um, the last time I discussed a subject very close to this was when Uganda was making half a century of independence. And we looked at a man of 50 years, uh, the achievements of this man, and uh, what they had put away. And I recall uh, a statement made by one of the ladies, uh, prominent politicians in this country, then not quite a politician, then a housewife to one of the politicians that observed and said that if you do not have what my husband has by this age, then you have not been working. And I was thinking, well, th that comment was directed at Chisa Vesija in 2001 or 2000, thereabouts, during the campaigns by one of the ladies. Uh, I know that a certain Chinese uh, entrepreneur has also said that if you're not a billionaire at 45, debunk, forget about it, just uh, get closed, you won't be. And uh, to this Chinese billionaire, it is even worse. He says there are so many things you've done wrong. You're guilty for not being. If at 45 you're not a billionaire, um, Chaz, I don't know how old you are. I'm shy of 45 by uh, a few strokes, and I doubt I'll be a billionaire. Certainly not a dollar billionaire by 45, unless I win a lottery, which I haven't bought. So, Katosi <laughs> Nyenga wouldn't make me a dollar billionaire still. Those roads are into 160 million dollars. But, Richard, I'll start with you. Mm. I'll start at the center of the table. The police force at 107 years. Mm. Today they were celebrating. I saw them in Kololo <coughs> showing off. And uh, I have an analogy that was given to me by an MP in Luganda this week, Juan Casivante of Rubaga. And it was interesting. He says that uh, during the Amin days, especially the latter years of Amin, when Amin deployed Fred Guedeco, I think he was Fred or oh, I don't remember the first name very well. Oh, oh the father of Fred. Yes, the mm. father of Fred, mm. uh, the Guedeco, mm. famous quote unquote pilot. He says that Guedeco was actually a radio operator within the systems of the Army and the Air Force. So he was deployed into the Air Force. He learned to fly planes, and uh, Amin would fly the Atonovs and the planes he had, and he would scare the earth out of Uganda. Everyone would say, be hit with awe and shock at Amin. But the opponents outside the border lines of Uganda would see and say, which one is that? That is an Atonov. It can no longer fly in so many kilometers. It can no longer shoot this. It can no longer shoot this. And that was his demise. I saw 
power displayed in Kololo today. I don't know whether it was the Amin show of force, where the experts would say, oh my God, what is this they have? They are still displaying guns of uh, the World War. To me, the lay person, it was a beautiful show. Richard, 107 years, the police in Uganda. The theme is they are moving from the colonial, colonial police, police yeah. to a military police. No, no. Uh, to <coughs> a community <coughs> police. Community. Yes, it is uh, Pulko that told me a military police. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I can see. I can <laughs> see. Political policing. I, I, I can see the strong influence of Pulko on the presenter. He's <laughs> sitting <laughs> very so next the, to me. So the presenter is developing <coughs> Pulkoism. Yes. <laughs> Your observations and comments. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 first of all, I think uh, you will allow me to congratulate the police force for being 100 plus. Because many institutions uh, face institutional infanticide. So just by the fact that it has revealed for a century in itself, uh, they need to be congratulated. What option did they have? <coughs> to die. Infanticide. Institutional infanticide. Uh, the second thing is that um, I, 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 I do not want to begrudge anyone mm. for going beyond 100. Mm. No, I, I, it's not their problem that I will probably not get there. So <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't want to begrudge them that. Uh, uh, it's, um, it's an achievement in that manner. I also want to say that uh, there is a tendency amongst us, uh, people who, 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 who we, we say we are analysts or we are observers or we are whatever we call ourselves, commentators, to... to to equate the lifespans of institutions to the lifespan of human beings, particularly African men. You know the African men, the, the Purkors. Purkor is probably now living, uh, when you take the average age of Ugandan man, he's probably living on bonus. I am getting there. So we, we like to equate the, uh, the length of life, the lifespan of institutions to the lifespan of human beings. I'm not sure that's a, a, a reasonable parameter for, for measurement. So we also need to look at it. Is a 100-year-old police force really old in comparison to what? In comparison to, to which other? In comparison to which other police force? Because the, probably that would be the parameter for... for and and um, the other thing is um, what is the nutrition that the police force gets? from us, from us as citizens, from us as government, uh, from us as leaders, because we are all leaders on this table in different categories, we have been in different categories. What nourishment do we get? Because what happens is we, 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 we put our expectations. Right. They should do this, we should be doing that, da, 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 da. and that's not just on the police force. It is on us, the media, it is on uh, the youth, it is on all of us. But what, what <coughs> input goes in there? So I think uh, whatever the show was at Kororo, I did not see it myself. I just saw bits on UBC TV. And you know, I am always uh, mindful of uh, edited and prepared uh, things, uh, especially by, and you know, I have been there for quite a bit, especially by uh, what is called public, but what uh, government uh, uh, presentations. So force or power, you said power, actually you said power. Mm. I think for me, the real power of the police force is not in the guns. Uh, like you gave the analogy, the example of Idi Amin. I think it is in the ability to relate, work well, and get, um, and get the confidence and the input and the involvement of the communities. Which, is, which it is doing how? I am not sure that it is how doing. Well is I'm not, it sure, doing I'm not that? sure that it is doing. Uh. No, and I think that is why probably they are saying we want to do it going forward. Uh, uh, it's probably a, also an honest recognition that that has not been done. So I am not sure that it is a powerful institution, as, uh, as you probably saw uh, today in Colorado. The other thing is that, uh, I mean, when, when you, be it perception or real, I do not think that the police, the Uganda police at 100, is a force that you can confidently say that uh, an average me 
and you, Ugandan, I mean, mm. will feel confident uh, to go to, to get solutions. But like you asked, what are the alternatives? If I, if, if I, if Rumshana, God forbid, knocks me, mm. uh, let's say we are both driving, but where else can we go? Because I will have to report, or he will report before me and say I was a hit and run. So it's, it's not because I have the confidence that I will get a solution, but it is that uh, I have to do that. I don't have alternatives. I have had uh, both nice and not very nice experiences uh, with the police force. I would like, however, to be convinced, mm. because now I am not, that going forward, we shall see an improvement from the co what they call colonial approach. I don't think that is the power I'm talking oh, about. Oh, well, uh, the, the one I'm seeing on screen. Yes. Well, I need to be convinced that that is called power. If I saw a policeman greeting nursery kids and assisting them to cross the road, I would have seen the power of the police. Now, if I saw a police uh, woman uh, on, the, on the zebra crossing help 